Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome you to, to see this evening's um, Time in a Bottle ceremony here for our class of 2021. And uh, as you guys are reflecting on your four years of art, I wanted to share with you kind of how I think it's almost comical that I'm here talking to artists because I have the least amount of artistic ability. Um, and I've, I've shared this with um, Miche on a number, num number of occasions that my fascination with the art abilities that you students have um, is, is am it's amazing for me to watch what you are able to accomplish. Recently, I was reading in a, a book some, some stories and one of the passages was about um, mastery. And the, the concept that really spoke to me and I wanted to share with you about art is Michelangelo was basically, I'll paraphrase the quote, but it was something to the effect of, the effect of if, if you knew how hard I worked at my mastery, you wouldn't be as impressed and think my work is as wonderful as it is. And I think so many people, myself included, look at this and think, wow, they're just amazingly talented and they fail to connect the dots. And the dots are, every day I've seen each and every one of you with a portfolio going home and continuing to work on your craft. And so the, the excellence that we have in the art department is built upon a foundation of unbelievable mastery work. Like you guys have poured your lives into your work. And then to read your, your descriptions and how that art makes an expression of what you're feeling or what you're viewing. For those people who don't have that skill, it gives us a good pause to say, I haven't worked at it. I, maybe I could have been, I don't, obviously I could never have been this good, but maybe I could have been to the point of not saying, a stick figure is about as good as I could get. I think if I had begun the process of learning the discipline of studying art and working at art like you have, I think I would have had a better appreciation for my, my peers when I was in high school. And I say that because there are probably some high school students who are watch, watching this, but I think some of your friends think you're just naturally gifted. And you are, but you honed your gift with such unbelievable effort. And the pride that you bring to your family, the pride that you bring to our school, the pride that you bring to your teachers is untouchable. So on behalf of the faculty, the staff, the people in our community, I just want to say congratulations and I want to say thank you. Your art has, enlifted, is, has brightened our school and will. I mean, one of the greatest things I can say as I leave, when I walk down the halls and I see all the art in the hallway, it makes me proud that our school, you guys are like the, the cool club that people want to be part of because you have such talent and you have swag, you walk around and just like, you have confidence because you're part of the art program that's viewed as just second to none. So my sincere thanks for your efforts. Congratulations, I know you're all gonna continue to do great things. Your art will always be a part of your life, but I'm humbled to be addressing you. And to the parents, congratulations, your kids are amazing. And uh, it's been a pleasure being their principal. Thank you. All right, hi everyone. Welcome to our time in a bottle ceremony for a very special class for me, my first graduating class that I've had for four years. So I'm gonna try really hard not to cry. Um, so you guys know what a special tradition this is for our seniors and I'm just really glad that we get to do it with you um, in light of everything that's been going on. So without further ado, let's get going. Um, <clears throat> The artwork before you is called an installation. It is an assembly of many parts, some very similar and others quite different, but all part of a unified whole, much like the class of 2021. Today they will separate. What will happen to them? Where will they go? And what will their purpose be? In the coming weeks, the class of 2021 will also separate. Some of you may never see one another again. Some will pass in and out of your lives, and a few will remain lifelong friends. As you prepare to leave, remember the lessons we've tried to instill in your hearts. 
be good to one another, live your life responsibly and with integrity, and give back to the community that's given so much to you. As you move, <clears throat> try that again. <laughs> As you move toward your future goals, be inspired by the following quote. I hope you'll dream outrageously, that you'll make something that didn't exist before you made it. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, because if you're making mistakes, then you're making new things, trying new things, learning, living, pushing yourself, changing yourself and your world. Most importantly, never forget that if you ever need us, we're only an art room away. And with that, we're going to call you all up. Allie Byron. My name is Alessandra Byron, and this is my art show board. For me, art is really meaningful because I always use it as a place to kind of escape from everything, and it just really brings me to like a calming mindset, and I just kind of feel like there's no other problem in the world when I'm working. So a couple of my pieces I chose to be in this art show was my portrait. I spent a lot of time on my portrait, um, and I think it just was like a really big piece that everyone does, and it's really meaningful. Then I have a picture of my mom hugging me at graduation just because graduation is coming up soon and I just wanted to kind of show how much I appreciate her and how she's helped me throughout all of my years at school. I also have this piece right here which is called Chasing the Sunrise and it's just about how I love to get up early in the morning and whenever I'm on vacation or whenever I have like a relaxing day I like to get up early and just watch the sunset because no one's awake and I'm able to just have the world to myself. Lastly, I have my activism piece was just kind of about how social media and big media outlets are kind of taking away people's own thought process and people are starting to not think for themselves. So I wanted to shine light about how we need to get better on that. Emily Dion. Hi, I'm Emily. This is my board. Um, Art has really been a big part of my high school experience and I'm really glad I joined the art family. Um, I'm most proud of the drawing of my mom titled Gratitude because she's a big part of my life and so is family. Thank you. Eva DeSanto. Hi, I'm Eva DeSanto and I'm so glad to have been a part of the art family for the past four years. And thank you to Miss Shay, she's been a big help during um, my progression as an artist and as a person. Jane Edelman. So my name is Jane Edelman. I am a senior at Oliver Ames in Art 4. And this is my artist statement where I just briefly go through all my pieces. And my favorite piece is this oil piece that I made last year. It's titled Night Out and it's a cinematic piece. I tried to capture a moment of a young girl getting ready to go on her night out. So that's my favorite piece. But I go into different types of material. So I have oil paints, which is my favorite medium. And then I have two inch charcoal. So my favorite mediums are oil and charcoal, clearly. Sam Keith. Hi, my name is Samantha Keith, and this is my artboard. So up here, we have my expressive portrait called Cupcake Bandit, and it's me in a fridge <laughs> eating a cupcake that I'm not supposed to be eating. And then we have my nectar list, and it is a few Polaroid pictures from when I went to Venice, Vienna, Salzburg, and Prague about two years ago. And then we have my self-portrait in charcoal, and it's just me. And I really like that I was able to just focus on that. And then we have my activism piece about domestic abuse, and I thought it was a very important subject to bring to light. And I wanted to show that there's still hope for this. And to symbolize that, I used the butterflies. Thank you. <laughs> I 
Emma Lawson. Hello, my name is Emma Lawson, and unlike many of the other people here, I have only been in art for three years. Um, I like to say, though, that starting art in my sophomore year was the best decision of my entire life. It has shaped my worldview, and it's definitely influenced my path for the future. So here are some of my favorite pieces that I've created over the three years I've been in the OA art department. The first is called Eve and the Apple. And this was actually based off a project where we had to create a piece inspired by a famous artist throughout history. Who I chose was Artemisia Gentileschi. Um, she was a artist during the Baroque period and she was one of the first woman artists to ever um, gain prominence. And I was really inspired by her. I was really inspired by her story of being a woman in art when being a woman was so difficult in so many ways. So I created this piece with a play on words of apple, um, like even the apple in the original biblical story, and apple as in the phone, a light-hearted commentary on technology use in today's society. My second piece was definitely a um, labor of love and sometimes hate, as I like to say, and it's called Cookie Contest. Fun fact, there are about 10,000 hand-drawn stitches in this. It was definitely very, very difficult for me to complete, but I'm so glad that I did. It's something that I'm very proud of, and it also really improved my skills in texture and observation. Finally, down here, we have a piece called Compliment, and it's called that because of the complementary neutrals I used in the piece. This was another very technical piece for me. Um, it was pretty difficult because I've never captured glass before in any of my pieces, but I really love the light colors and the textures and how it turned out overall. Uh, thank you so much to Ms. Shea, um, Ms. Sepienza Hunt, everyone um, who has helped me out over the last three years, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the art show. Aiden Marcus. Hi, my name is Aiden Marcus, and I've been so incredibly fortunate to have three years in the OA art department um, with Ms. Shea the whole time. I've learned so much, and I just want to share a few of my pieces from this year. Um, this one, uh, we had to illustrate a quote, and I want to honor the late Justice um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Um, this one's personal to me. I really like working in charcoal, and we were doing charcoal with color to show mood, and I wanted to show my dad, um, who's been a very, very important person in my life, and um, one, one thing he likes to do is play piano, so I wanted to um, draw him playing piano. And uh, my final piece here is sort of a culminating piece to my art, sh art um, experience at Oliver Ames, and um, I drew the art apron that I always wore in the art room, so I, I titled it Room 126, which is the art room, so that's very, very special to me. Um, yeah, so, so thank you for watching. Katie Marsh. Hi, I'm Katie Marsh, and this is my Art 4 show board. Going through the art program for the past four years at Oliver Ames has been one of the de best decisions I could have made as a high school student. Not only do I find it therapeutic, but I also find it as a way to grow as a person and experience new things, and also to challenge myself and continue to push myself. Art is a way that I have been able to completely focus my mind into one thing after a hectic day or anxiety-ridden classes stressing me out before. The second I get into the art room, my mind can completely set into one project and I'm completely thankful for that opportunity. I feel that all of these pieces are different and unique, but at the same time reflect a different part of me and are all different yet similar in that way. I'm proud of the hard work I've put into all four of these pieces and the time and effort is reflected back when you look at them. I'm thankful for my past four years as an art student and would not have given it up for anything else in the world. Christina Mathers. Hi, my name is Christina Mathers. I am an art force student at OA, well, soon to be graduating. Um, the main thing that really brought me to the art department I think was probably in middle school when I started getting into art and I knew 
from even my art one class, Mache, I immediately, I knew it right off the bat I wanted to become an art teacher. I just thought it was like the coolest job in the world and I just want to be able to show like younger kids that you can do anything you want really just by drawing or painting or you know whatever inspires you most. And um, I definitely think Mache and Miss Sapienza were my biggest inspirations for that. They, they showed me how to do so many cool things and yeah, that's really it. Um, so this piece right over here is about a, home, a military homecoming. I did it with charcoal. Um, and then same, same with these two down here. That was my self-portrait. Uh, and this is my dog's paw, which was a tribute to my art two final, which was my dog's face. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And in the fall, I will be attending Westfield State University to major in art education and with a concentration in illustration. So yeah, that's really it. And thank you to everyone who helped me uh, and become and trusted me in becoming who I have become today as an artist. And if it wasn't for my parents and especially my sister, I don't know where I'd be today if it wasn't for them to encourage me to do what I love most. That's it, thank you. Jared Malika. Hi guys, I'm Jared Malika. Uh, I'd just like to show off my, my art board. Uh, I think I've learned a lot over these past four years um, and I'm, I plan on using my artistic abilities in the future. Just wanted to show my featured piece, which is my self-portrait done in charcoal. Uh, I'm most proud of that. Uh, artwork. Heather Moorcock. Hi, my name is Heather Moorcock and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my year in art. So I wanted to be a little more truthful with my art this year and really express myself and my thoughts. So starting over here we have my work, The Residence at Five Corners. It's an elderly home for those who don't know and it's entitled Place of Peace because I find a lot of solace working there because the life there is just its a lot more simple than it is in school or outside with your friends. Everything is just so low key and chill. I, I love it there. And then over here we have my face kind of melting into two more faces and it's entitled Augmented Reality. The thought process behind this piece is to kind of emphasize how in life it's really easy to feel disconnected from how we feel like how we feel and sometimes we don't know how we feel so I have the three different faces expressing different emotions to highlight that and down here we have a self-portrait it's no Mona Lisa but it's me and there's nothing else to really say about it besides it's in charcoal and it took me a long time and now it's on this board um, and finally down here we have a piece which actually is very personal to me and it means a lot it's emphasizing um, how in life we feel like we're not enough and we're trying to conform to body standards. It can be kind of overwhelming and be suffocating. And yeah, this is definitely my favorite piece from this year because it is so truthful and honest. I don't want to tiptoe around important issues such as feeling like you're not good enough. So this piece is very personal to me and I hope you guys are able to find some sort of meaning to it. But yeah, this is my artboard. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Carl Eric Nelson. Hi, my name is Carl Eric Nelson. I'm a Art 4 senior at OA and just gonna run through a, a bit of my art board for the art show. Um, I have a little bit of a water theme on here. You, you might be able to see on the name signs, there's turtles and a sailboat um, on the water. And that's kind of just like, the water theme has to do with me loving the water. And um, the, the pond is where the name signs are supposed to be set in, which I also included in my Polaroid photos. I've, my favorite places are featured in these Polaroid photos right here. There's the pond, the shed, which I, is my grandparents' shed, which I sleep in during the summer sometimes, and Boy Scout camp. There's some canoes in that Polaroid photo. Um, and then over this uh, beach scene was for the activism project, um, which I, I did a mask awareness and safety 
type theme and showing like COVID-19 going through the lifeguards um, from the lifeguard stand to this silly dude in the middle who's not wearing a mask. And I, I did a little bit of a double, double whammy on that one and talked about uh, disposing of masks carefully too by cutting them before you throw them in the trash so that they don't wind up on sea turtles. Um, so that was my activism and then over here I have my expressive drawing of me being abducted by aliens which I like a lot. Um, I posed for that on my trampoline. And then down my final one on the board is this that which I worked on recently which is my album cover for my, f my friends that I'm doing. It's called Hate Days Love Nights and so the album should be releasing this summer and so I'm very excited that I got to work on this thing. It's a I got a finish for the ice show last week, so I don't know. This this board of artwork means a lot to me, and sort of the the art class and all the people that I got to work with. So thank you. Peyton Phillips. Hi, my name is Peyton. Um, I'm so grateful that I took art. It was so much fun and such a good way to express myself. These two are my favorite pieces that I made out of charcoal and they're self-portraits. Madeline Taylor. Hello, my name is Madeline Taylor and this is my Art for Artist board. Um, just to tell you a little bit about the pieces on it, um, right here we have my self-portrait. Um, which is actually one of my favorite pieces just because I never really get to do pictures of just me. So it was really cool to, you know, experience the contrast and really explore my face in a different way. Um, down here we have a picture of my dad and my dog. Um, and it's just kind of symbolic of my everyday life, which is uh, really personal and it just kind of speaks to how much I value family and my home and just all the people that are closest to me. Then down here we have my activism piece, which is on animal poaching. Um, I specifically chose to do elephants, not only because they are my favorite animal, but also just because elephants are the animals that are targeted mostly by animal poaching. So it was really fun to work with stippling and pen and kind of go in with a red pen to add emphasis and speak on such an important issue to me. And then on the bottom we have a scuba diving piece. Um, which kind of is symbolic of my love for traveling and exploring everything new. Um, and I kind of went with the monochrome blue color theme just because it's my blue, blue is my favorite color. Um, and yeah, all together they kind of just speak to who I am as a person and who I am as an artist. And before we say goodbye to you all today, um, we have one more bottle that we have to give away. Isn't that right, Miss Shay? That's right, Miss Sapp. <laughs> we have a very special one. Yes, we do. For Mr. Paul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Since you're also leaving us this year, we wanted to send you off with something to remember us all by. Mm -hmm. And uh, we personally put quotes inside of these bottles. And knowing that you're from Quincy, your um, bottle has a quote from John Quincy Adams in there. So <laughs> congratulations, you. class of 2021. <laughs> and you also need to get one of these. Awesome. And we'll give you a, an elbow bump. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for supporting the art department you, over the years. We appreciate everything that you have done for us and for our students. Um, you know, it just means the world to us. So thank you. This concludes our time in a bottle ceremony, but please make sure that as you go through the virtual art show website, you click on the art for tab uh, to see the amazing artwork uh, in their virtual art show boards. And also make sure that you take a look at the art three seniors virtual art show boards as well when you click on their page um, under the art three tab. And you can read their artist statements in more depth and really understand their thought process through all of their pieces. So thank you so much for coming to the virtual art show website, but also this ceremony here. So thank you, everybody.